Good morning, everyone. Today is kind of cool. I'm going to be doing a layer cake review later on, but I've been working with the owners and the face of layer cake for a very long time, specifically District 5. So I wanted to bring you to their facility and kind of give you a tour. They have a really cool office space, and I want you to meet the team. Come on. So this is James, everyone, sort of the designer and the man behind many things from District 5. Uh, I've been here for about a year and a half, but okay. I've had some other companies before. That's that. right, that's right. So he and I go back quite a long ways, and also the owner of District 5, who's unfortunately not here today, is uh, also a good friend of mine back from my Tobe days, 2014, actually. But yeah, talk to me a little bit about, I don't know, kind of the, the last few projects from D5, especially when you came on board, and, uh, and then we'll get to the atomizer and the juicy stuff, you know? Well, um, D5... My relationship with D5 started as a collaboration. I was doing a company with my friend called Mystery Mod Co. We kind of had this idea of just like working with different designers and uh, just never really panned out that way. <laughs> like it does. <laughs> but uh, with that, we did the Lostronaut and we did the mm -hmm. Surreal Mod. Right. And from the Lostronaut, like, because I kind of have a penchant for the number 22. I did not okay. want to break the 22 yep. millimeter thing, but <laughs> Vuitton talked me into doing 24. Nice. So uh, a little bit of the same. I'm the same, dude. I'm a sucker. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I finally broke the 22 and went or 24 and went straight to 25 and then came back to 24 myself. But yeah. But yeah, I, I mean, was a little bit of a stickler about it. Well, that's the thing is, I feel like going past 22 is kind of cheating because it's like so hard to keep everything in 22. Right. It was and a bit of an like accomplishment. 24, you were like, oh, like I just have like miles. All to this extra, now. exactly. So what, when did the Lostronaut come out officially? Oh, when was shit, that released? Like July, a couple of years ago. Okay, so it's been a little bit. Yeah, because first I did the. Uh, well, first thing was the Phantom Cap. That's right. That's that's a bit ago. <laughs> And That's probably that was, before this audience, I think. Yeah, that was like the first time anyone used Ultim in this industry. Yep. And then um, one of our mutual friends was the one who brought up Ultim. Mm -hmm. And I went and I got some, and I just happened to be at the machine shop. It was nice. like, can you make a top cap out of this? <laughs> and he did, and I like showed it to him. I was like, oh, we should make these. Yep. Did you end up making that one for the Igo or for the Tobe? That one was for the Igo, yep. I think, originally. Yeah. I think we wanted to do a toe. But I think I've like, got one of each still, actually, yeah, in my house, yeah. I think, I think he ended up making it for the toe after I left. He did, yeah. But then we did the, the zombie mod. After that, I left Ritual Machine, and I did House of Zombie, <laughs> and I did the pie atomizer. Yep. So the reason that that kind of, like, has some, like, relevance is because the pie was basically, like, the first gen, mm. and then the Lost Knot was, like, the second gen of that platform. Correct. The Cosmonaut was, like, the third gen. So right. it's like all these like tweaks and fixes that happened up until then. So that's why I feel like on the noise front, right. Cosmonaut was relatively quiet. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I came on here, we've worked on a variety of projects. Some have seen the light of day, some haven't. You know, most people don't know there's an Aquanaut. <laughs> uh, I would probably be in that group. I don't think I know what an Aquanaut is. <laughs> it's the uh, tank version of oh, the okay. Cosmonaut. Oh, I have not seen that. There's so many tanks, it just doesn't really make sense right now. So that all kind of led up to the layer cake, which ironically is actually one of the first designs I ever did. Okay. Um, it's altered, like, when I first got into using mods and stuff, um, I liked some of those hybrid mods, the sure. Genesis ones. Yep. Huge so my fan. first idea was an atomizer with a single screw down, <laughs> but the coils were vertically oriented. Right, back then that wouldn't work. Yeah, but... Now, like, I mean, we found a material that would make it work, so, but we oriented it for a dripper, and it's, like, changed, but it's kind of weird, because it's kind of taken a full circle. I know other people have now tried to do the same thing, but I think it's really that material that kind of makes it possible, you Yeah, know? it's the unique, the ceramic steel in this case, right? Yeah. yeah. Stuff's gnarly. I tried breaking it. It didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> it hurt my fingers. Yeah. I think I cut my finger open trying to break it. <laughs> Kind of like it's something that's like been lost through like all the atomizers. It's like, you know, when we first started doing this, like everybody's learning how to build and like you had to build right. stuff yourself. <clears throat> you know, like guys like Goon and like Kent and everything were like doing these crazy things, but the only way to get that was to like be like you had to hey, be man, a can you, can yeah. you like build it for me or right. can you like you know, or like teach yourself how to do it. Right. And now, like, you can just buy these <laughs> coils, and you can, like, literally put, like, the worst thing ever yep. into your atomizer for, like, the setup that you have. Like, you know, there's not as much exploration as there used to be. No. And I, even, I, I remember the first time I met Kent, 
was at the Chicago Vape Show and I was like, can you please build, you know, and I left that coil in for over a month. Yeah. Just because I didn't want to touch it, you know, it was like so beautiful and new and... I think I still hyped. have, a, I think I still have a pie atomizer <laughs> with a coupon built in it. Yeah. But it's funny because like, I was like, can you build this for me? Because I met him for the first time at ECC. Sure. And he was like, he was like, what do you want me to put in? I was like, I'm going to put like one of your crazy things in. He's like, how about I just do like Fuse Clapton's? <laughs> Really? And I was like, that's crazy for me. I just do like 22 <laughs> five wrap. That's like my go to. Yeah. But I think like that's what some people like don't realize when they see the pictures online. It's like, you know, there's the atomizer as the canvas, and then there's like the atomizer as a practical, usable device. Right. And then there's two completely different sets of art as well. Yeah. Because they'll make coil art. And that's it's what like, I mean is the canvas. Like, right. Absolutely. It's, like a, it's just a canvas for them to showcase these crazy builds that they right. do. I mean, they're never going to get used. Did you ever see that picture of like, the zombie mod that just looks like a bunch of eyes? <laughs> There's just like coils all over just the thing. all over the... Or the pie, not the zombie yeah, mod. Yeah, 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 I know what you meant. But, yeah, I mean, like, sometimes I think people forget that, like, you know, whether you can and should are two different things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, so the layer cake in this case is allowing the user to have that accessibility yeah. because of how it's built, right. but not necessarily have to like commit to only one type of coil, which is, I think, right. super cool. Yeah. So what else kind of came along with the development of the, of the layer cake for you guys? Like how long did it take to build and like... Oh Jesus, like <laughs> it actually was designed over a year ago. Okay. But nothing would withstand the heat that we needed. Mm-hmm. It actually was a dead project for a long time. Got it. And we, um, just one night I was just like, well, like I still think we should do it. Let me see if I can find something. So I did some like deep research and I ended up finding like this like one place in the world that manufactures like the one thing that could work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we are about it. <laughs> yeah. A little bit secret. We gotta protect the secrets, you know? Yeah. Protect the trade secrets. I mean if you wanna order some of it, you can always hit me up. Fair enough. I can order it for you. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go through your supplier. Yeah. But I mean, you know, I don't want to stop innovation, but I also don't want to get cloned it, yeah. for like the 15th time. That's the other problem being in this game that long is like you kind of see, you see everybody go through all the state. Like I've been, cl- you've been cloned, everybody's, you know, it's, it's just, <laughs> it's part of the mix. The layer cake clone came out before the layer cake. Did it really? Yeah. No way. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but we dropped the insulator and it broke. <laughs> oh, got it. I mean, it's like it's funny because it's just like it can't really be cloned at this point, just because nobody knows what that material is. Sure. I mean, we were golden on that, like originally with Ultim. It took like well, I, I mean, eight months for people to figure out what that was. Yeah. It's sad, like half the time, even when I work on projects that aren't vape related, I'm like, can I put Ultim? Can in I put this? yeah, Ultim knives and things, whatever. Well, it is. Like we made that bushing for uh, the 1911 like airsoft guns out of. Ultim. Oh, did you really? <laughs> So you guys have done some other projects as well, like mechanical mods and obviously different drippers and things. Yeah. You guys did a slam cap for this too, didn't you? Uh, yeah, shoddy cap. Oh, shoddy cap. Shorty cap? Yeah, the little shoddy. Shoddy? H-A-W-T. Oh, got it. Like you did the slam cap for the tome. Yep. And then like when the zombie came out, it had reduced chamber. Like we've always been about reduced chambers, but you know what comes with reduced chambers. Got the heat. Yeah. But that's, that imparts the beautiful flavor notes that you're not going to get otherwise. Yeah. It's, it's a it's a balance. It's a comp cap or a flavor cap, you know. Yeah. Pretty much since the pie mod, I've tried to do everything I can to not have to build my own atomizer. <laughs> you know? But like, I still know how to do it. You know? Same way. That's one of the beautiful. Th- I mean, do you enjoy building your atomizers? <laughs> Let me back that up. I don't mind it, but I definitely will not make my own Clapton's anymore. I just won't bother. But actually, getting in and, and you know making something work that shouldn't is. I like tweaking them. Like, I'm always, like, thinking about problems. <laughs> but I will say, once it's set perfectly, I don't want to touch it. Yeah. Like, Kent's. I, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's kind of hard to mess with those. That's just weird, because, like, when you go to shows before in the past, it was, like, all the, like, trick kids, like, hung out. Right. Like, all the cloud chasers you get hung all out. The, all the builders. And all the builders hung out, but, like, all the mod guys were just, like, I don't know about that dude. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, like, I think we naturally gravitated to, like, being more associated with the builders. Sure. Well, because it was the people that could potentially get the most out of what we were making. Right. Which I think is kind of cool. Because, like you said, it's a canvas, so it's like, go, my child, be free. Yeah. Like, show me what you can do. And, yeah, you know, it's, it was always exciting, like, seeing, like, what would come back on it, you know? Yep. 
Agreed. It's like you like I think about this atomizer to like this extent, but then they take it like to the next level. Yeah. So what's next on the what's next on the layer cake? Because I know you guys did a couple revisions, and I'll I'll cover some of that in my little review as well. But like, what's 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 next on the chopping block? What's well, the thing? Like one, one thing, I guess one thing to explain about the layer cake is um, it is a flavor RDA, and most yeah, people tiny. think of a flavor RDA as single coil. Correct. Reduced chamber. So realistically, what you're looking at is like a dual chamber flavor RDA. Right. So it's basically two flavor flavor RDAs. But because of the post, it's it's perfect for like these huge like double three ply spaced. Well, it is. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But you can also stop it down to the. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like it comes with a squonk pin loaded. Right. It's like I mean, it, the idea behind it realistically is a um, dual chamber. Right. Because, I mean, if you Flavor put that kind of a coil in a squonk setup, that 10 mil bottle's going to last you five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, like, that was, like, that was, the, that was the intention behind the design. Now, we figured that people would want to put those big ones in there, <clears throat> and we figured some people would want to go the route of a true Flavor RDA. So we are putting together a chamber reducer. Oh, a plug. Yeah. Sure, sure. So it'll go to one side. Yep. I mean, the single airflow is already on there. Okay. And that'll be just like an extra. Yeah. Okay. And then save, there, save one for me. Yeah. I want one. <laughs> and there is going to be like a classic style comp cap. Okay, cool. For the crazy build. But, you know, I mean, it just like, it looks so good like that. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's such a pretty atomizer. I mean, it's one of my personal favorites that I've done. I feel like that's saying quite a bit because the pie was a pretty fucking... Pi was gorgeous. Pretty well, the, the engraving and yeah. just the way it was set up, and again, Ultim insulator, yeah. you know. But this, I mean, from a distance, this just looks gorgeous. Yeah, I think externally yeah. that's the best looking atomizer we've done. Yeah, it's like layers, layer yeah. cake, layer cake. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, sir. I appreciate the time. These guys, like I said, they've been friends for a long time, and I've been involved in multiple projects. We've even worked with some of the same distributors and, and people way back in the day. So it's kind of nice to come back together as a community. Now that I'm a free man, you know, yeah. YouTube reviewer, I can actually do this kind of stuff. And the cool thing is you guys now get to see a little bit of a inside look into District 5 and, and there'll be more companies as well. But thank you guys so much for your time. And again, thank you, James. Much appreciated. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> The sexy <laughs> Well, um, uh, like, uh, the, um, like, uh, oh, uh, yeah, like, like, um, like, 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 like